What is up guys, Tech James here. In my last upload, I talked about the PS Vita homebrew browser and quite a few of you guys said you get stuck on a black screen or it just doesn't load or it crashes, it freezes and sometimes when you tap on an app to try and install it, um, the whole homebrew browser will stop working and it will actually throw up an error on your screen. Now this should be fairly easy to fix, so in this video I'm going to guide you on how to fix it. And just like I said, this is what the black screen looks like, obviously, so if you're stuck on a black screen, you should should be seeing something like this um, but basically what we're going to do to start off with um, let's just say that you've got it installed normally I would recommend just holding it and actually deleting it now the reason why I'd suggest deleting it is because you will want to reinstall it but we also want to make sure the data folder is deleted sometimes the data folder might be outdated and it can actually cause problems so let's just start our VG shell and we're going to go into our UXO and we're basically going to look for the data folder so we're going to go UXO, zero, whatever you want to call it. We're going to find the data folder, which is actually at the top, and I just went past it. Um, now what we need to do is find the folder um, for this app, and it's actually called the Vita HB Browser. So we're going to press triangle on this. We're then going to delete it. We're going to press X on yes. We're just going to wait for it to delete. Um, there's also another folder that you can delete. Um, I don't have it because it's part of like a previous version, but it's called um, Vita Homebrew Wiki or something like that, Vita Homebrew Browser Wiki. Um, basically any Vita Homebrew Browser folder that you find in here, or if it's called HB Browser, you can probably just delete it, um, especially if it's old, you know, from like 2018, 2019. If it's one of the old Homebrew Browser folders, I'd say just remove it, because uh, removing it and reinstalling it could actually just fix the application for you. Okay, so once it's finished installing, we need to get the latest version, or if you're still having problems, we need to get the fixed version. So what we're going to do is actually connect our PS Vita to our computer. So we're going to press select. Um, if you want to connect it via USB, that's fine. If you want to connect it via your FTP connection, that is also fine. Let's go and connect it, and let's get the latest VPK or the fixed VPK. Alright guys, so over on your computer, I'm going to link the fixed version in the description, just over on GBA Temp, you can see that this one right here is the Vita Homebrew Browser Black Screen Gledge, and if you guys scroll down, there is actually a guy that linked it on um, Mega, so this guy with the um, Yoshi profile picture, if you click on this, it will actually bring you to his Mega, and apparently this version fixes a lot of issues, so if you're getting the black screen, if you're getting glitches, errors, what I'd recommend is just downloading this version and installing this one. Now, I don't know if this is an older version, it might be, um, but it should work okay. Now, of course, we've also got the latest version, um, which is this one right here. So this one is really six days ago, version 0 0.92. And um, if you're having problems, you can also try and reinstall this. This does fix some crashes. Um, but yeah, this version right here is supposed to fix most of the stuff. Right, so once you've got a VPK of your choice, we're going to go onto UXO and we're basically going to reinstall it. So here is mine. Now this one is not the fixed version. For me, I just got the latest version, which is 0.92. That should be okay. I don't think I'm going to have any problems. Well, I guess we can see. Maybe I just cursed or jinxed myself. Probably did. So let's just wait for this to install and, um, and then we can open it and hopefully it boots. Now I'm going to test everything just to check if I get errors because there's three very known errors. So let's just go and let's just open it. There you go. So the first error that you might encounter is the black screen error. Um, after this screen, sometimes it goes black or it can freeze. So as you can see, it's going to go black and oh maybe we did actually get the error this time now if you're stuck on a black screen just like this um what you actually want to do is just wait i'm going to give it two minutes and if it doesn't load in after two minutes um i can confirm that i've basically run into the error okay so it did actually load in but i think that was more than two minutes there might have been three minutes so if you just wait it might actually load in after a few minutes so if you do get stuck on a black screen don't worry too much um but can we like open stuff without it crashing yeah we can so i'm not too sure why it took such a long time to load and uh, maybe we can just try again um but yeah there is a fixed version so if you're having like massive issues with it um as i said like when i was on my computer um maybe just try the fixed version but it seems to be okay maybe the second time that we open it there you go so it's loading a bit better so make sure you wait and if you're still having issues um you can get a fixed version now another issue is um, you're just frozen on this screen and you can't do anything and the other issue is when you tap on stuff um, the app will just crash um, instantly 
but it does actually let me tap on stuff so obviously I don't have that issue but there you go that's pretty much how you fix all issues with the Vita homebrew browser it's a pretty nice app it's just got a few bugs of it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one